All right, here's example 2.5 from Precalculus OpenStax. Uh, I want to talk about this problem because I think your book does it perfectly. It asks you to do this problem in a specific way, and it steps, walks you through every single step. Note that this writing I have here came from Try It 2.3, so this is not relevant to example 2.5. Um, but what I want to do is I want to add a little something to this. So this problem specifically asks you to write the point-slope form of an equation, then rewrite it in slope-intercept form. If it didn't ask you to do that, if it just asked you to, re to write this equation in slope-intercept form, so pretend that's the case, you'd have two ways to solve that problem. One way would be to do exactly what the book outlined right here. But there's another way to do it that your book didn't mention, that I like to have multiple ways to do something because given certain situations, one way might be more useful than another way. So let me show you another way to solve 2.5, but to be clear, I'm going to pretend that the question did not ask me to do this. So I just have a slope of 3, it passes through this point, and what I'm going to do is write it in slope-intercept form. And the way I'll do that is I'll say, well, slope-intercept form, oh yeah, that's that y equals mx plus b thing. So really I need to know two things, I need to know what m is and what b is. Fortunately for me, they tell me what m is. m is just 3. Halfway done. I know one of the two things that I need to know. If I could just figure out B, I'd be done. It turns out you can figure out B. You can figure out B from this equation right here by taking these points and plugging them in for X and Y respectively. Because the idea here is this equation has to be true for any point on the line. So if I let this be the X coordinate and this be the Y coordinate, I can say negative 1 equals 3 times 6 plus B. In other words, negative 1 must be equal to 18 plus b. So from this, you can figure out what b must be. Right? Subtract 18 from both sides of the equation, and you get that b is equal to negative 19. Note we're not done because I have to write my answer in slope-intercept form. And so slope-intercept form, I'd say y equals m, but instead of writing m, I can write 3 times x plus, and then instead of writing uh, b, I could write negative 19. So you could write plus negative 19 or just minus 19. And you'll note that what I got here is the exact same as what your book got down here. But a totally different way to do it. I'm not claiming my way is better. In fact, my way would not work on this problem the way it was written because it asked me specifically to do it the way the book did it. But I felt like I'd show you just for other cases where you might want to have another tool, another method of solving these things.